guys, how's it going? And ladies, obviously, good morning. It's about half past one in the morning on a on a Thursday, yeah. Now you're probably really confused as to what I'm doing up so early. Basically, I'm on a road trip to get myself a new car. And don't worry, I will explain it all later on. Now, if you're interested in one of these hats, it's a company called Design by Crime. They're really sick. Um, obviously, this is like a suede um like uh suede like nude color they do like khaki green they do like blue they do all sorts of colors so i'll leave the link in the description down below if you want to check it out but for now guys sit back enjoy and um let's go get this new car <laughs> So it's still early morning, yeah. I think it's about half past four now in the morning. Uh, I was due to get there for about six o'clock to pick up the car, but uh, we're last, we're falling a bit behind, so we're not gonna get there till about seven o'clock. So we're both shattered. We have had like no sleep at all. But yeah, basically we're going to Ashford and Kent to pick up my new Daisy 2.0. Now I'm not telling you what it is until we get there, but it's something, it is something that I did want over the golf first but i just bought the golf um as an impulse buy so yeah stay tuned guys you'll soon see it and i think you'll enjoy it so yeah all right so me and chris have now managed to be on the road we're dreading now is the fact that if we Out by putting this bit, which I don't want to pull again. <laughs> Great. Great. Um, but yeah, to top it off now, if we get there and it's an absolute shitter of a car, then we're going to be pretty pissed off. So. I've been up for 25 hours. Been up, Chris has been up for 25 hours. I've been up for about 24. We're both feeling like shit. I need a shit. Chris needs a shit. And um, yeah, we're literally about a mile away from this person's house. So it could all go tits up like right now. Yeah, let's find out. So lads and girls, I did actually end up buying the car. Um, I'm in it right now. I'm not telling you what it is. You probably might be able to guess from the seats and that or anything, but you probably won't because uh, standard seats. But yeah, it's really nice. I'm not taking a video of it yet until we get back uh, back home because I want to do a full video on it when we get back home. So it's all really good and all really nice and ready to go. So yeah, I'm gonna head home now uh, with Chris. We're also gonna take the long like four or five hour drive home and then I'll get some more content for you guys just so you can see what car it is. But yeah, it's lush. You guys will love it. A lot better for me as a daily, so yeah, see you guys soon. Bye for now. Right, lads and ladies, I now present you Daisy 2.0. So yeah, this is Daisy 2.0 lads, what do you reckon? 1.6 CTKS TDCI, 90 brake horsepower. Um, it's on Pro Spot coilovers and it's running Lenzo wheels. Now, I'm not sure about these Lenzo wheels. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Um, it is pretty low, it's like slammed as low as it can go, I think. Um, don't, don't judge me on that, I'll ask to check. But there's a few things that need doing to it. It may look really clean in that in this light, but it's actually not, it's got a few panels that need you know painting and stuff like that but it's not nothing that i can i can't do um i paid believe it or not 1750 pounds for this it's got 125,000 miles which is nothing considering it's been looked after um engine mechanic wise so it's really good it drives sweet as a nut there's no problems the only thing i've got to do to it is obviously um put a cam belt and a water pump onto it so that's that so yeah that's what um that's what i decided to get lads reason being is I've always, you know, I've always been a football fan, like a fan of Fords. Um, I'm completely shattered, by the way, guys. I've been up for about 35, 40 hours without sleeping. Me and Chris left at two o'clock, obviously, this morning um, to go pick us up, which was in Ashford in Kent. Um, guy and his wife or, or girlfriend was really nice. They had a kid there and that as well. They were really nice people. But I think he's done a bit of a muck up on this. I will show you up in a minute um, what he's probably done, if you can see it on camera. But there's loads of boil, orange peel. It's like he's decided to spray it, as, so spray parts of it himself with a rattle can. It's just not good. Um, mechanically, it's sound. Uh, this thing got me like 69 to the gallon on like a 280 mile trip 
on the way back home. It was just ridiculous. I loved it. It was sick. So fun to drive as well. Um, Joel will probably end up getting his hands on it, remapping it and stuff like that. But for now, um, let's walk around it a little bit more and then I can show you like the bad parts and stuff about it and then, um, yeah, what I've got planned for it and what I want to do with it. So yeah, let's go. So guys, we are at the drive side rear quarter panel here. I don't know if you can tell in the light, um, you can see obviously this should be really reflective like this, but up here he's decided to spray it and it's got like paint runs actually in the primer itself, I believe something like that. It's also got little bits like this on the side, which I'm not bothered about, it's door dings. It's only a daily and you can actually see how low it is here. It's literally tucked right in, but you can probably maybe even go a bit lower, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'll see what we'll, we'll do for height at the minute. But it is a really nice car. Um, but anyway, yeah, moving on to all these like blemishes that like, you can see one there actually, that there's one. It's just, it is horrible. Don't worry, but it's something I can get sorted out for a relatively good price. Um, one thing I do like is obviously the gloss black diffuser that's been sprayed. Really, really nice. Stands out really well. Um, I really like that bit. Gonna get obviously the L19 plate, L19 BU plate to go on that because that is awful. And the plans, what I've got planned for it, is to possibly wrap it. Um, the paintwork is quite bad, so I reckon if I can get a cheap wrap sorted out, it'd be ideal. There is also a little ding in the uh, boot lid right here as well, but that's nothing as well. Um, it is like, what, nine years old, so it's gonna be expected a few dings, but let me know in the comments down below, guys, what you think of these wheels. I'm not 100% sure. So I reckon it's like Marmite. You love it or you hate it. Um, I think we should go for a all blacked out theme or something like that. But if, I were, if I'm gonna wrap it, I wanna wrap it like khaki green or something crazy like that. But now, for now, guys, I'm gonna head back into the car. We can have a little chat. And then um, I wanna know your thoughts on that about this as well, because I'm loving it so far. This is Daisy 2.0. Um, I'm just gonna name it Daisy again because Daisy the Daily is a lot easier. Unless you lads for now have any other um, ideas for names, but Daisy the Daily goes. Um, obviously this is like the better version. The Golf, um, you probably wonder actually where's the Golf? Um, I did sell it, I put it out for sale. Obviously I bought the car for about 750 quid, sold it for 950, so I made 200 pounds on it and I only spent about 20 quid on the parts, putting new rear top mounts in, so that's good. Uh, everything's going all right at the minute lads. Me and Chris have just, we're just shattered, um, absolutely shattered. The, the day's just absolutely drained us and I just, I'm, if I'm stuttering, if I'm chatting shit, I apologise, I am really like, just fucked right now. And, and, and the best way to say it is that word. And I've got football training tonight as well. So yeah, if this video doesn't come out tonight, I apologise, but I will try and get it out for you guys tonight. Um, but yeah, mad day again. It's just mad. Daisy's sick. What do you guys think? Um, do you think I've gone down the right route? Obviously, I'm going to get another car as well. This is not just my main car. Um, I will be keeping this one now. I mean, I could make money on it. I paid 1,750 quid. If I can get the little panel, the panels and that sorted, spend about 500 quid on it, I could probably sell it out for about 3, 250. Um, that's what the booking price is. Um, so I could make a grand or just over on it. I don't know, guys. I, I think I should keep it because I want to do stuff on the inside. Like, so you see these bits here, these silver bits, the silver plastics. Same here on oh, that bit there. I want to get them like sprayed. Um, I want to take them out and do videos and like spraying them with gloss black and stuff like that. Doing rattle can jobs on that's fine, but doing it to a car's bodywork, different different ball game. I don't know what he was thinking, but I've got a few things lined up. I've got a guy who works with Polish Perfection over the road. He's going to try and take out some of the orange peel that's on the paint, see if we can make it look a bit better. If not, I might go down the route of getting the car wrapped. Um, if somebody knows that like, they can sort me out with wrapping the car and stuff like that. But anyway guys, this has been Daisy. I'm going to end this video here. Sorry if it's short. Um, I don't know if it's short or not. I don't know how long the time, record time or anything is. I'm shattered. I need to get home, have a shower, get ready for football. And I just need a pint that's just to chill out and then I can edit this video for you guys and then you guys can watch it. And then tell me what you think of Daisy. So let me know in the comments down below what you'd like me to do. Obviously, I want to get it mapped. So should I just go straight to stage two of it or what should I do? Like, I don't know. I don't really know where to start with diesel. So I've never really had a Fiesta diesel. I've never really had a diesel car apart from the Golf, obviously. So let me know what the capability, what sort of like power these, these cars are capable of. Obviously, it's the 1.6 diesel, 90 brake horsepower version. Um, I don't know if you're doing any other versions, but it's the ZTEC S. I like it. It's good. It's sweet to drive. It's low. It looks cool. I might change the wheels, but apart from that, guys, I'm sweet and ready to go. So I'm going to go home. Thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're new as well. Share this video around just so you guys know now I've obviously got Daisy 2.0. I will put a post on it from my Instagram with the car and stuff like that. But yeah, hopefully you guys 
said bye to one of the guys over there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you have, like I said, check out my social media, guys. It's in the description down below. Um, if you want to buy a car, some mostly global motors, all of that's down there as well. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, I'm shattered. I'm going to go now. I'll see you on the next video. Love you all. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always repping. Oh my God, my whole life, my words been my greatest weapon. I know.